Successful organizations devote much more time to creating a clear picture of the role and who best to put in it than on, on actually executing the search. Focusing that lens entails deliberately thinking through all the requirements embodied in the role to document the needs. And this requires the use of an integrated business analysis tool designed to fully address the role and establish expectations. The first priority in every search is to acquire a deep understanding of the organization, where it wants to go and the hurdles it will have to clear to get there. This is the foundation for all successful recruiting. The inside out approach is built on three foundational pillars. First, the best candidates will come to an organization not for money, but because of what the organization is trying to achieve. To attract the best, you have to engage the heart. Second, the best will want to understand the organization's business goals, its challenges, its assumptions, and its blind spots. Once you've spoken to the heart, you need to speak to the head. Third, once you've engaged the head, you next need to engage the feet. The best will want to understand how the organizational culture drives making things happen and how people interact and get things done on a daily basis. And to put it succinctly, to attract the best, you have to engage the heart, the head, and the feet. And to do this, you need to prepare. The best will ask all kinds of questions, and you'd better be ready to answer them. We use three common HR tools to assume nothing and take a fresh look at every single opportunity. First, a skills gap analysis of the senior team and direct reports. Successfully recruiting requires an understanding of exactly where the company is in its evolution from startup to multinational, how fast it's changing, and what the current and future skills gaps look like. Second is a needs analysis. Here we aim to get a deep understanding of what needs to be accomplished in the role. And lastly, a job description. This is where we establish and agree upon observable and measurable performance requirements with the key performance indicators all spelled out. In step two, we focus on three activities. First, we conduct a SWOT analysis to assess the company's strengths and weaknesses, as well as the opportunities to be leveraged along the way for potential threats. Second, we help establish a search committee by choosing three to five people to help articulate what is needed in a candidate, establish a time frame, ensure due diligence is met, conduct interviews, and contribute to the hiring decision. Third, after we've helped choose that search committee, we help select a search chair. Here we help determine which member is best suited to lead unbiased discussions and has the time needed to see the project through to its conclusion. This is someone who understands the needs and culture of the organization and is someone who can serve as a liaison to guide discussions between the search committee and the hiring manager. The output of stage one, steps one and two, is a collective and deep understanding of the presenting need. We collectively understand and agree on the qualities of the right person for the position, the strengths and weaknesses of the officers not being replaced, the assets of the company and its market position, the short and long-term goals of the organization, and goals of the board of directors.